Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, as you can see, there's been a slight scenery change from me being on my bed. Now I'm back at my desk, but since I'm on my iPod, you can see more of my bedroom. Um, you know, the pimp bed, which you always see. Gosh, there you go. Um, but yeah, you can see more of that stuff now. Um, but I'm at my desk because it got darker and a whole lot of crap happened. But anyway... Absolutely. I am a firm believer in um, hand-holding. And I have not done enough of it because I'm single and clearly I can't hold my own hand. I'm, I, this is going to sound hella shallow, but you can't see personality when you first meet someone unless you meet them at a comedy club, which I did date a comedian once and I did notice how funny he was first, but that was rare. Um, I guess like say, I notice uh, little things like their smile, um, I notice their eyes, I'm big on like eyes, I'm big, I'm huge on noses. I like the Roman noses, so like uh, Adrian Brody kind of has a nose like a Roman nose, um, there's a couple other people. I just like a really strong uh, facial features, like very, I like very masculine looking men. So. Um, I noticed that and I also noticed when a guy has really like disproportionately small hands I don't know why but I always look and if their hands are like super tiny it just turns me right off like I don't know what it is um, I'm a writer and I tend to wear you know I'm my heart on my sleeve or I guess my emotions at the surface because when you're writing, you know, you have to be able to write characters who are going through a, a gambit of different emotions. So it helps to kind of have everything on the surface. And um, they say like creative types are, you know, sensitive by nature. And I wouldn't say that I'm like super, super sensitive. But um, if I haven't been hurt recently, then yeah, I, sometimes I can fall easy. I, think I do believe in stuff like soulmates and love at first sight or at least lust at first sight I wouldn't say love but sometimes you do have like that connection where you just instantly feel like this person's meant to be in my life for a while so I'll say um yes and no hmm <sighs> I am so sorry if I hung out with you in the last 48 hours comment below and, and you chastise me for not remembering it but I'm gonna say no I haven't hung out with a guy in the last 48 hours I am rarely like upset like lit mad um, it takes a lot my fuse is very long but once I'm mad I am angry and I don't yell I'm not a yeller so it's like the quieter I get like the more serious you know it is because I just get so like inside myself um but I do like to step away from conflict so I will go and I'll take a walk um I'm big on taking walks at night because I'm a night owl um so I'll take a walk or I'll go to the park at night and go swing on the swings or just think and be by myself I go and stargaze read minds. I love knowing what people are thinking and I'm pretty good at guessing. Well, Arizona is like living in hell's waiting room. This is what I like to call it. It is flippin hot here and I think today was probably like 110 or something outrageous, maybe even like 112. We've, we had a heat wave for like a, I think like last week and it was ridiculous, like 120. It was really hot. I do text a lot, even though I hate texting. I hate it. I would prefer that if somebody has something to say to me that's longer than like one line, that they just call me. I hate texting, like long drawn out things and comment below if you are that way too, but I hate it. Huh. Everybody take travel with me over to my bed. Come on. And I'll tell you what my last text message says. Um, let's see. So, my last text message. 
Well, the last one sent to me says laugh out loud <laughs> or LOL. The last one that I sent says laugh out loud. That means you have. <laughs> and since you don't know the conversation, that can be taken so many different ways. Um, I think it's Carrie Hilson is like the main one, is my main ringtone. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking at um, my ringtones to try to figure out what's the main one right now. Um, I have a ton of stuff in here, like, it's really bad. Yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, if you can hear that, it's please don't turn, it says please don't turn me on, which I think is funny. And I actually like that ringtone until I'm in the store or something and it starts ringing really loud and people are looking at me like, what is that? I always get self-conscious. One is I absolutely love butterflies, which I think I said in my outfit of the day, I love butterflies. They are just... I, even my friend for like Christmas or last Christmas got me this book of butterflies because there's just something about them. I love them. Um, and I think they're a good omen. So they're like my lucky charm. And also my favorite thing, which I will include a picture somewhere around here or here, russet roses or really any multicolored roses. I really, I am not a traditional girl. I like red roses and they're pretty and all, but it really shows that you know me if you get me uh, multicolored, multi-toned roses. That means that you pay attention um, because I like the white and red ones or the um, red and yellow. I just love them. My favorite song of all time is Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. Um, and then second runner up to that is uh, David Cassidy and the Partridge Family, I Think I Love You. I just love that song, and it's so corny, but I love that song. Um, but I want to have the song What a Wonderful World like played at my funeral. How morbid is that? But I've always thought it was cool, and it's just a really awesome song, and it kind of, um, it, it kind of speaks to what I think of the world. Like, I'm always trying to find the beauty in the world, so I like it. My dream vehicle, and you guys are probably going to laugh at this because I'm so small, is a big lifted truck like a Dodge Ram extended cab, so tall that I have to like take a run in jump to get into it. I want a big, huge truck. I want it to be like something I can go like four wheeling through the mud in. I want to be able to like haul some stuff and really like when would I ever haul anything? <laughs> I'm not like a big hauler of things, but I would learn if it meant I got to have this type of truck. I really love trucks. England, Australia, Paris, Italy, Hawaii, and Vegas. That order, or not in that order. I don't know, but definitely England and Australia. Um, I love Australians and I love British people. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I'm, I'm really into British people. And I think that I was meant to be British and I was just born over here for no good reason. Um, but yeah, and I speak French and uh, a little German and Spanish so I'd obviously want to go to Paris because I could use some French there and Italy I just like Italians and Hawaii everybody seems to go there and I got a lot of friends from there and Vegas I only went once when I was 18 and when I went when I was 18 um, the gambling rules were different you didn't have to be 21 to gamble you could be 18 and I just so happened to go on like a family vacation with like my foster parents at, at the time um, that I knew they invited me to go with them. And it just wasn't the experience that you want to have when you go to Vegas. So I want to do it over again with like friends and have like an awesome time and you know, you stay in a cool hotel and just you know, go walk the strip and you know, have like the true Vegas experience. So that's why I'd want to go there. And I would go with anybody who was willing to go with me at this point. In order, True Blood, I am a fanatic. If you saw the finale to True Blood, leave comments below because this season was a little bit whack. Um, the Walking Dead, um, and for you who don't know, I write 
uh, dark urban fantasy or dark paranormal romance and supernatural thrillers and stuff. So obviously these I kind of like shows that are supernatural. Um, I like the show Supernatural also. I like The Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, Shameless. If you've seen that show on Showtime, comment below because it's awesome. Um, and my favorite, very favorite, is Sons of Anarchy and they are actually they premiere on September 11th. I'm super excited. Like, you don't even know. I'm turning off my ringer. I'm turning off everything. I will be incognito. And remember, that's my word, incognito. But I will be incognito September 11th when Sons of Anarchy starts up again. No, I do not have any pets as of right now, unless kids count. Then I've got a ton. No, I'm kidding. Um, but no, I don't have any pets. Um, I want to get another Sheltie. I used to have a Sheltie, and his name was Sir Frederick of Hollywood, and I had him when he was a little tiny baby. Ray Lepowski, who's hilarious, and I have like a guy sense of humor, so it's like, so you'll understand if you look up Ray Lepowski. Uh, Gary Owen, Daniel Tosh, Cat uh, Williams, Kevin Hart, um, Dave Chappelle does some really funny stuff. And Aziz Ansari, I think that's how you say his name, but I love him. He's so funny. He Go look him up because he just did a stand-up thing and it was on uh, Comedy Central, but it was so cool. Our feet. I have a foot phobia, like a serious dislike of feet. I don't paint my own toenails. I don't, I just barely started clip my own toenails and like, it's not like I never clipped them. I just went somewhere and they groomed me in that respect. I just don't like feet. Baby's feet are cute, like little kids, it's adorable. But once you hit like adult teen years, I am just disgusted. And even though I have little feet, you know, I only wear like a size five, five and a half shoe, but I hate feet. Well, you know, I'm a writer and I'm always reading something, but right now I am reading uh, one of my favorite authors. I have a couple of them, but Larissa Ione is one of them. And, oh, of course it's all the way over here, but since I'm doing iPod, you can travel with me. Um, let's see. My, the book I'm reading right now is by Laura Wright, and of course it looks backwards, I think, but it's called Eternal Beast by Laura Wright. And it's part of the Mark of the Vampire series. And I've read the whole series, so, and she's awesome, awesome, awesome. And she's, she's a really good writer. Liars. I hate liars. People who lie suck. And um, I'm very honest. And I'm not, and like I said before, it's not tactless, it's not brash or abrasive but I do like honesty. So if somebody were to like not like me, I'd prefer them to tell me like, hey, you're just not like my cup of tea. And I'd be cooler with that than lies or people who just disappear. I'm, I, like I said, you know, I was abandoned by my parents. So obviously being abandoned by people through life is not something I'd be big on. I already described it like feet, I hate feet. But seriously, like I think I'd probably be afraid of dying alone. Um, I've lived most of my life alone and don't really have a whole like huge amount of friends and a lot of support and I think like being alone is probably not but I'm not so alone like I'm not a needy type of alone chick like I would much map I would blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sorry I would much rather be single than be with a douchebag so I'm not that type of chick who's like desperate I'll be alone if it means being happy I cried like a little girl just a couple days ago. Things in my life are stressful and right now and I, uh, yeah, I cried pretty hard. Uh, my foster mom, <laughs> I didn't want to talk to her because she's very dismissive of my pain and my sorrow and my grief. She just doesn't ever really view me as a person. So, and I talked to her because I love her. I love her to death. She's, you know, definitely been somebody I think that my life would have been different and worse for not knowing, but she just makes me feel so horrible about myself. I would love to include some video to show you just how weird my kids are um, because they are nuts and they are just like me, but I don't do video of my kids at all. Um, I, I notice some people have it, video of their kids and I give them mad props. I just never do video of my kids every single day. 
<laughs> every single day. I watch YouTube videos probably more than I watch TV. I'm not huge on TV, like I have my shows I like and I usually just watch them and then I'm not watching TV anymore. But I watch makeup tutorials, I watch uh, outfit of the day, uh, interracial relationship stuff, regular relationships, um, everything. Anything that I that's interesting, I'm watching. So if you have a new video or something you want me to check out, put it below, I'll watch it. Sorry if I leave you out in this because truly I did another video where I included almost everybody's videos I watched and I did a little shout out, um, but I don't know how well that went off or if anybody really paid attention to see. And I'm not even sure the people that I watch, if they watch me back, but, um, Dark Natasha 23, watch her because I think her and her boyfriend are adorable. They have an adorable little girl. I love them. I watch all her videos. Um, it's like my crack. Uh, the Black Streakin' 80, I watch her and she responds to myself and it's cool because I feel like I got a little friend who just lives in Texas, so it's awesome. Oh, and she did the accent tag. And if she sees this, I got this book a long time ago. <laughs> about people who live in Texas and because I've always been obsessed with besides British accent I love the Texan the Texas drawl and like um, Southern Bells but somebody got this for me when I was probably like for my 12th birthday because they know how much I love Texans and this is a book I don't know if you can see but it's called what makes you think Texans talk funny and it's got in here like so much stuff and so I wanted to give her that little shout out um, uh, Brit Pop Princess. I love her. I love her and her husband. Uh, they're awesome. Uh, G Flowers 02, which is Gabe Flowers, and she is so cool. And her and her husband are the most adorable little couple, and I love their videos. Um, there's an Australian couple, which I don't know the name of their channel, but I love them. Um, and Star Since 1987. I really like her because I can relate to a lot of her issues, and so it's really cool. Um, and I uh, the Nive Knowles, which I think a lot of people watch, I like them because they are super funny and they just crack me up. So that's it for this and it was unrealistically long, like it was super long. I'm going to try to cut this. So if you see random cuts in this video, that's because I was cutting and editing and trying to get it just right because it is super long. Like each half I think is like 20 minutes long each because I'm long witted as hell. Um, so my next adventures in dating video should be coming soon because I have, I think I have a date. Um, I get asked out a lot like I said before like an ungodly amount and not because I'm just so amazing. It's just happens to be what's going on right now. I have had some crazy dry spells though before, like I'm talking years long, so trust me, I'm not like the cat's meow and I don't think I am. Um, but it'll be probably up within the next week or two. Um, if you have any questions, like I said, write me below because my other hand is occupied, I can't do my little blah, but I'll try, I'll do it slow, and I'll include my website address for my author website. Um, I'll do this slow again and I'll include my tw my Twitter so people can follow me because totally putting my Twitter up there seems to really work because I've gotten a ton of new followers and thank you and I, I tweet about the most random crap so if you're following me that's awesome. You already get brownie points in my book. Um, uh, but I have found somebody that I think I want to date and he seems pretty cool. So I might be doing that uh, video here within the next week. We'll see. Um, but it's that time again. So goodbye everybody out there. Keep playing.